gaan van een filmmaker naar een fotograaf die ooit een Get out of my seat. heeft gevonden. U hoort hem al komen. Hij heeft van alles meegebracht. Hij heeft ooit een schat gevonden die ondertussen 600 miljoen euro waard is ongeveer. Uh, welkom, Martin Schreiber. Um, 600 miljoen euro? Wat? Your net worth. Yes, Madonna. Her net worth oh, her at this her, her moment is about 600 million. Now, I was trying to start with Da Vinci, who has his Mona Lisa. Yeah. And then you have uh, Picasso, who has his Demoiselle d'Avignon. And you have your Madonna. Maybe you should tell us first, Maybe it's not, for the uh, people who don't worth know, what happened, to me. I wish it was. <laughs> what happened on February, in February 1979? What happened? Uh, I was teaching a class in photographing a nude, and uh, Madonna was my model. As simple as that. Simple as that. I had 15 students at the time, and she came twice for two sessions and uh, stayed for a while afterwards. And uh, years later, I had uh, I saw her on the cover of uh, Interview magazine. I had a girlfriend at the time, and I said, "Hey, I, I know that girl. I mean, uh, she was my model. And we went out for a while. Uh, I, I bet my photographs are worth some." She said, "No, no, no. Don't do anything about it. It's not right." <laughs> So I listened to her <clears throat> for a while, and then I was working on a book uh, on Arabian horses, and I was in New Orleans, and at the airport, I saw her on the cover of Time magazine. I said, okay, that's it. <laughs> so it's I got on the big. <laughs> yeah, I, then I got on the phone immediately and called up uh, an art director I knew at uh, Penthouse magazine. He said, yeah, come, when you come to New York, come see me immediately with it. And then the whole thing sort of evolved between yeah. Penthouse and Playboy and... Uh, I end, yeah. ended up selling it to Playboy. Yeah, fortunately, you still had those pictures. Oh, yeah, but I, I'm kind of meticulous, like a lot of photographers are. We have yeah. huge files, you know, and uh, we keep yeah. our stuff. And what about the, the photography students that were with you? What about them? Did they take <laughs> pictures as well? Yeah, but I, I took, I got all their negatives. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. That was a, that was a great, a great investment. No, no, no. I, I was clever about that. Yeah. Yeah, but at the time that you took the pictures, nobody knew Madonna. How how much did you did you pay her just to be a model? Well, uh, Do you still remember? Yeah, of course. Uh, art models or art school models at that time, don't forget this is 1979, uh, they were getting paid $11 an hour. Usually a, a session, whether for a sculptor or a photographer or a painter, painting class, was uh, three hours. Uh, my photography class was usually an hour and a half. So yeah. I paid her 30, $30, $35, $35, I think. $33, sorry. $33. Yes. $33. How old was she? So I, I gave her the money for three hours, but she only posed for an hour yeah. and a half. Yeah. yeah, how old was she? How old was she? No, she was 20, because it was February, and she became 21 in August. Yeah. Did, did you think at the time before she was famous no, of that she not. had any <laughs> talent? Oh, come on. As a model? <laughs> no, as a model. How do you know? No, no. no she, was, she had a great body. She was a dancer. She was very athletic. Yeah, but no, I had no idea. But apart from that, did you ever ask her if you, well, if if she would mind that you would so sell the pictures to Playboy? Uh, yeah, well, I tried uh, when I was negotiating between Penthouse and Playboy, which was quite a story in its own. I tried to be correct, and I sent. I actually called Los uh, Los Angeles several times, got the receptionist. Of course, you never get by a receptionist. Uh, <laughs> then I sent a registered letter and. Never got answered. And Playboy said, look, this is now or forget about it. I said, hey, okay, let's do it. No, that's it. Let's do it now. Yeah. Did, did you make a lot of money at the time? I, I got a pretty decent figure from that, yeah. What would you call pretty decent? I'm, I never sold, I never will. <laughs> <laughs> now, anyway, in, in this month's issue of Playboy, I have yeah. it here. Um, it's, there is the rest of the pictures. It's called the, well, some of them, yeah. the, the lost nudes. Well, that's that's I'll you know to total uh, I'll, I'll publicity, whatever. Oh, I'll, I'll <laughs> give my um, give it the fun button of one. But that's that's no, they're not lost. I just held yeah, on to them. Really, and figured, they weren't really lost. No, 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 no. no I, I kept them aside, figuring one day whatever uh, something in my hidden uh, them well in my brain uh, worked properly, obviously. And it's 30 years since they came out. Yeah. The first ones. You know what's crazy? I play drums in a studio today, and in the toilet, the original Playboy magazine with those pictures. That's a collector's item. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea you were coming. So this is. There we have it. Very weird. Reggie here. Wat heb ik gestoen aan mensen als ze mee zijn waar het gaat? Voilà. This this is one of the of the iconic ones, I think. 
I don't know yeah. if you can see. Yeah, that's one from the this one series. pretty well. It's just a little baby fat here. Now, the, the thing is, you, you made these pictures in 79. You've been a photographer ever since. I was a photographer since 1963. But this is like really your Mona Lisa. You, you, people keep asking you about it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Does it really feel unfortunately? Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Because you, you've made Every heaps time. Yeah, because it has nothing to do with what, what I do. I mean, that just if it wasn't Madonna, there would be no big deal. And it wasn't really meant to be seen. It was, it was instructional or... No, uh, I, I mean, my first book that came out was called Bodyscapes, which right. is actually also a collector's item today. And that's where all my nude studies, which I did in the studio, then out in uh, nature or whatever. Uh, I do a lot of work. I've, I've, Jesus, I've been photographing for 40 years, for Christ's sake. I've, I've been all over the world shooting stuff. This is just a... Little tiny, tiny grain bit. of what I do, you know, but because it's Madonna yeah. and the media and the public eats that kind of stuff up, you know, it gets a lot of attention. I try to use it as a as a door opener. You know, I'm not stupid, but uh, yeah. it's not really who I am. Right, right. but it brings you to Belgium, to this. Yeah, yeah no, I'm very ha <laughs> very happy to be here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I, I brought you some brownies. Uh, gifts. You brought yeah, some so brownies. You asked me to bring me some. Of the, I, I love to cook, and I'm a good baker. So here's some of my brownies. So please pass them around. Try them. What, what's 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 in the what's in the? Oh, this is homemade chocolate. No, this is no, this is not cocaine or anything like that. No, no. <laughs> Can we like trust it? I'll, I'll pass it. Yeah, on. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I can't. No, try. They're very good. You can't eat it. Oh my God! No car. Oh, she's translating in my ear. <laughs> and, and then, for those of the for safe sex, I brought some condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna condoms. Here. Are you Madonna sure? Are you yeah, sure? I, yeah, I made. I, 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 no, I had. I had a license. I have a licensing business, and I because she signed a, a release, and I can do certain stuff, and so I have yeah. Madonna condoms and underwear and perfume and stuff like that. So. But these are not very good. Till 2006. Oh, that works. Yeah. Oh, there's of, of course there, you can there, nonsense. <laughs> is there like an illegal substance in this brownie? No, no, um, no, 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 no. Are you sure? Absolutely positive. I made a joke about it, but no, 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 no. Talk about half your wacht on the They're not Alice B. Tokel's brownies, I promise. Okay. No. Martin, apart from Madonna, you've 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 made heaps of, of portraits. Um, I've seen right. beautiful pictures of cowboys of yours. Well, I, that's a uh, uh, okay. We've, we've, after my new book came, this one, after example. my new book came out in 1981, uh, I was at the Lone Star Cafe in New York. And I was listening to James Brown, and a couple of tables away was a, a couple, uh, two couples, and one guy, a huge guy, big handlebar mustache, uh, black vest, white shirt, cowboy boots up to his knees, and I said, wow, that's a fucking cowboy, man. I, and I was always shy at that time, and I, I said, okay, no, I'm going to get up, I'd love to do their portraits. I walked over to them, said I wanted to do a portrait. Next day they came to the studio, we had a good time. Then they invited me to, out to dinner at some famous uh, restaurant in New York, and the guy seemed to have some money. He said, come on down to Texas. I said, sure, I'd love to. And that's how the whole cowboy book came out, and I spent a year doing yeah. it. And it's actually one of my best bodies of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is magnificent. Are you still interested in new models, for example? Always. Yeah? Well, Don't you, you, I you, you, you have always... Me. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, she she nice made posts for me. I know, I talked to her about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She has a sister as well on the yeah, other yeah. side. <laughs> so you, you try to convince every, every woman you no, see. No, uh... no, no, no. But okay, speaking of yeah. with the conversation we had before, if you if anybody is interested, try to get the last issue of Rolling Stone Madonna on the cover, because she's 56 and she obviously she works out, she keeps she keeps herself in shape, but she takes talks about that that just because you're 50 or 60 doesn't mean that your body falls apart or that you're not beautiful. And she encourages women to, 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 to glorify in their, in their femininity. So it, today we, we, we live longer, we are healthier, so no big deal. No, but yeah. it's easy when you're a Madonna. No, that's nonsense. But Karen, you said our Madonna well. That is now well there. That's said the früher toch altijd. Okay. Ja, dat was wel mijn beroemd voor de school. There's uh, there's oh, yeah. heaps of new material coming. Um, we're going to put them all on our website. Um, dus als u graag wilt zien wat Martin allemaal gemaakt heeft, dat staat erop. Uh, ook bijvoorbeeld die foto's van Madonna, mocht u die puur uit interesse eens willen bekijken. Thank you very much, Martin Schreiber.